Hi dreamers, welcome or welcome back. I'm Cress and welcome to my Louisiana inspired Glade of Trust. In today's video, we'll be taking Tiana's gorgeous house and putting it right on the bayou. We'll also be adding the cozy new bayou cottage to this build to make it feel even more authentic. If you enjoy cozy vibes or you're here for inspo, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on more speed builds and walkthroughs. Thank you so much if you've already subscribed. To start off this build, I used the Touch of Magic water rugs that I used in my Tiana's Palace build to create Tiana her own little private lake. I was inspired by some of the stunning waterfront houses you can find on the Louisiana Bayou, so I wanted to try to recreate that in my valley. I used these training bridges from the Mulan collection to create a boardwalk that kind of looks like it's leading up to her door. I took advantage of the fact that her porch is elevated to really make it look more like a boardwalk. I said this in my Mulan video, but I really, really wish that these bridges clipped together and that there was a separate stairs item that could also clip into place to make it interactive. At the moment, it's just kind of awkward, although I love it for design. As it was, I had to leave space between the bridge and her porch so that I can access her house, but at eye level, it definitely has the look I was going for, so I was happy with that. With the general structure in place, I started filling in the rugs with items to make it look like a river. These lily pads, of course, are the perfect item for this. Fallen logs are such a great item for this as well because they add some texture and dimension to the rugs. And of course, it wouldn't be a natural build of mine without these butterfly flowers, the only flowers that can actually go on rugs. I'll take a hundred more of these kinds of items, please, and thank you. At the time I designed this, I didn't have more rugs crafted, so I might go in later and extend this lake a bit with a few more rugs so that it's a little bit bigger. I added this glade bush so that at eye level, the gap between the bridges is hidden, and then I went in and added the different types of glade rocks throughout. For lighting, I kept this pretty simple since I'll be adding fireflies at the end. I thought that these wooden lampposts added the perfect touch for a rustic bayou feel. I just love that cute little companion house that we got from one of Tiana's quests, so I had to include it in this build. And of course, I filled it with the cute little crocs. I love the way it looks like they're playing in the water when I'm out of furniture mode. You'll see it in the tour at the end. To the right of the house, I wanted to create a little patio area, so I used Touch of Magic rug to create a wooden deck. I went for cozy with the beanbag chairs from Belle's Starlight Bundle and the hammock from Lilo and Stitch. It's not quite the right shade of green, which bugs me a bit, but the fence that I added after the fact hides it. Honestly, I'd be thrilled if they'd give us a Touch of Magic hammock to design. I'd go all out on it. I added a few items from the Tangled collection to this area, including the campfire, which annoys me because it doesn't light up, the guitar, and the floating lanterns. I would have preferred to just have the fireflies, but since I can't put trees on rugs, this area just felt too empty without adding the lanterns. To finish up the lake area, I went in and added some trees. 
If I don't end up extending the lake, I'll probably add some more trees to the left of the water rugs later, but for now, since I have Lady's house so close, I just left it open there. Now for the Bayou Cottage. Originally, I had the Steamboat Annie boat in this spot, but I switched it out for the cottage because I like the idea of the two houses being near each other. But honestly, this house is so cute and it kind of just deserves its own build, so I might move it and put it put the steamboat back. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be better or if you like it like this. And that's it for Tiana's Bayou House. Now, as promised, I'll take you on a golden hour tour of the entire area I've designed for Tiana so far. Eventually, I will be converting my entire glade to a New Orleans inspired city build, but for now, I'll just be showing you the parts I have finished. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for sticking around if you've made it this far. Your likes and comments mean so much to me. Your amazing engagement has helped my small channel to grow so much in these last few months. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye dreamers.